When I got home, I found the, uh, the, the police officer at the house who explained to me what happened. And uh, um, yeah, it's just uh, the worst thing you can ever imagine. It, uh, I mean, I, uh, I literally collapsed when the, when the officer gave us the news. So it's, uh, it's the worst thing you could imagine to, to lose a child. You know, Mitchell was just an amazing, uh, amazing young man, and as we always say, I think he lived more in his 18 years than some people live in their whole lifetime. He was a uh, hockey goalie, and I think he had the very typical um, goalie mentality. You know, he was uh, sort of quiet, reserved, very thoughtful, sometimes a bit quirky. Mitchell really had a way of showing that he loved the unloved. And I think a lot of times there were, um, you know, people that might have been sort of outcasts or maybe, you know, were somehow not popular. And Mitchell always had a way of, you know, sort of making them feel better about themselves. I don't think I've met uh, any kids that had as many friends that would call him their best friend. Mitchell was um, on his way up to Michigan State University. He was um, rear-ended by a, um, a young lady who was uh, speeding and clearly distracted. Um, he uh, was hit from behind and forced into oncoming traffic, and uh, he was hit by a, a, a truck and uh, killed instantly. It's just a, a permanent hole in your heart. I mean, I feel you know there's a portion uh, of of my life and a portion of our family that are just, you know, gone. I think it hits you hardest when you're sort of alone and thinking about it and realizing that um, in this life you're not going to see him again. As horrific as this is for us, um, what you realize is we're not alone. Now that's really the, the scary thing because it could have been, you know, anyone's child, any one of us, any one of our loved ones. And, and I think that's what's, what's, what's really frightening and that's really what we have to you know, take action to change. What we're really trying to do is spread the message of um, just the dangers of distracted driving. When you're a uh, teen driver, you probably don't think that that quick phone call or that quick text or that quick Snapchat is going to be uh, an issue. But it only takes a split second of looking down at your phone and you can cause an accident or be part of an accident that again can change your life forever. We've talked about it as a, as a family, and what I've always uh, said to the kids is, you know, you can, um, you can let a tragic event in your life basically destroy your life, or you can uh, use it to repurpose your life. And uh, we've all agreed that we're going to try to use it to repurpose our lives and make something good of it, and hopefully save some, uh, save some other lives. We feel it's probably the best way that we can honor, uh, honor Mitchell.